My name is First Lieutenant Natalie Smalley, and my job description is I am the op officer in charge of the Expeditionary Civil Engineering Group in Inabasan. So we are, are training on structural engineering. So today we are plastering the walls and installing trusses. And throughout the month, we have been training on everything that is involved in building a small facility. So for the community in Inabasan, we are building a small multi-purpose facility. They don't currently have a enclosed multi-purpose facility. So this facility will serve for community engagements and for evacuation purposes. A large part of the community floods quite often. So this will give them a higher point of elevation to evacuate to when it floods low, lower areas and it's enclosed and has electricity, which is a lot different than some of the buildings here. So my role is getting everyone out here, coordinating all the personnel, all the materials, making sure the structure actually gets completed and then redeploying us. So operating in this environment is a lot different than our normal day-to-day -day environment because we don't have access to a lot of the same equipment and materials. So we have to work as a team and innovate and learn from our AFP counterparts to understand how to engineer in contingency environments. So it prepares us for a day when we may not have access to all the equipment that we have grown very accustomed to. It is very important to train with allied and partnered nations because it allows us to expand our knowledge base and because it prepares us for future engagements. If we ever need to operate in a situation where we're working with our counterparts, it shouldn't be the first time. We should already understand their processes and how they do things. So this gives us a base for that knowledge. This training better prepares us to work alongside our joint and bilateral partners by giving us a practice run for working with people who are not trained in an identical way to how we are trained. For example, every structural engineer in my unit went to the exact same basic training, went to the exact same tech school. So this gives us an option to learn from people and expand our base for how other people do processes, but also opens us up to new ideas when we realize that just because the Air Force Engineering um, Center teaches us how to do processes in one way doesn't mean it's necessarily always the best way. It gives us the option to um, learn from others. Balakatan overall increases readiness to conduct future operations with allied partners by letting us operate within the Philippines. So most of my people have never operated within the Philippines before and have never been to this country. And this expands our knowledge of the Philippines and of other um, partnered countries too by letting us um, learn about their culture and the environment that they find themselves in and the challenges that they need to face day to day. Uh, my name is Staff Sergeant Kendall Boyd and I'm Electrical Systems Journeyman. The training we've been doing over the past month is just building a multi-purpose facility for the Inabasan community. Um, structural engineering and uh, anything that goes into building a facility. So my role, I'm the uh, electrical systems uh, SME here. So uh, all the electrical wiring and uh, grid that goes into the facility, I'll be the one um, responsible for the installation of that. Well, if anything, it gives me the open mind to, to change. Uh, I'm an electrician, but I'm over here mixing concrete and, and pouring it and doing stuff that's completely outside my comfort zone. So uh, it'll give me a, uh, an idea of what, if this was to come down in the future, what to expect for sure. Well, working alongside the, uh, any of the, the units, as, if it's the Marines or the Philippine Army, uh, they've given us an open mind to do things different. Um, and if anything, they've told us to work with what, because out here is the resources aren't as um, readily ava available as they were back in main base. So um, doing things with limited equipment and limited resources is definitely something that I can take back. Well, the Philippine Army, they do things completely different from how uh, us Air Force guys do things. Um, and it's been very interesting learning from them uh, and learning different ways to do things. Uh, a lot of times it's a quicker way, more efficient. And, you know, taking that information back to main base Kadena and, and learning from that is probably one of the best things that I've learned out from being here for sure. For example, uh, uh, 
Balakatan itself, uh, this is my first Balakatan, and partnering with another nation such as the Philippines, which are great people, uh, just allows us to have that partnership just in case something w were to happen in the future. We already built that relationship and the rapport with him to continue future operations. So it already gives us that foot in the door to continue anything that we may have to do. Yeah, I am a senior airman Skylar Cunningham. I work at the 18th CES and my job is a dirt boy or pavements and constructions equipment engineer. So we do any sort of horizontal construction on base or any drains or any hard work that people don't want to do. Perfect. So over, over the past month, we've been doing a lot of training. We do a lot of the same stuff that we do at home station, but here we're learning new ways to do it with the AFP. We, they do concrete completely different and they do any sort of groundwork different. So we're picking up a lot of skills with them doing that. My role is to do any of that groundwork. So digging the footers for the building or the concrete pad. Uh, another thing we kind of like choose where the pad's placed and where how to square it up. So we do a lot of that, working with the drainage in the area and trying to make it good once the building's actually in. So operating in this environment, it, it's a harsh environment out there. It's hot and we're lifting concrete pads. They weigh like 100 pounds. So it, you can go anywhere in the world and do that if you can do it here. It helps out a lot. Okay, so uh, this, this kind of training helps us work with other groups, being the Marines or the AFP by increasing our agile combat employment kind of skills. So now we know we can go out and do these kinds of things with different groups and do it efficiently and learn from each other. So it really helps us out a lot. So Balakatan shows that we can do it, that we can come out here and get this project complete no matter what resources we're given because we're given some pretty low resources in this low income area and we just find a way to do it. And we can do that anywhere in the world. So it gives us a lot of confidence going forward.